whatever. I don't do anything with the ATF in. Cats, I don't do bats, cats or rats. I don't like them. And then it's always some save the project for a bat. Who can, okay, seriously. I would much rather light my little candles, you know, these things. And spray some stuff, some off or something to get rid of mosquitoes. I don't need bats flying around my house, climbing under the doors, in the walls, all up in the attics. They not saving me, they trying to kill me because I have a really bad case of anxiety. And I am terrified of bats, okay? Two years ago, I had, no, it's been three years now, I had the cat problem. I do not like cats because I am terrified of cats because they're sneaky and they don't mean me no good. They came to kill me. And Lord knows a rat would just run me out of my house. My last vacation was because a mouse, a little bitty mouse came in my house at the winter time. And so I had to pack up my stuff, had someone to carry me from the bedroom to the living room, like on his back. I packed up me some clothes and we went out of town. And I could not come back in my house for vacation until the thing was gone. I don't do any of them. And everybody talking about they got a, the cats to eat the mice. No, I don't have that many mice around my house. You probably see one like every 13 or 14 years or so. You know, you see them things like all the time. Well, have, no, hardly any of the time. And some nice little cat came and made his residence, her residence, in my beautiful flower garden brought his kids, her kids, and then they start bringing dead squirrels and leaving them for me. Weren't they trying to kill me? Yeah, they were definitely trying to kill me. It was definitely a setup. I ain't got time for all this stuff. I'm too, make me too nervous. Yeah, somebody gonna talk about why you ain't shoot them. You, dad, mama. What is that, snow? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You need to use some Vaseline, some Crisco or something. No, that ain't nothing. That's ash. You need to use That's some. Doing, Friends, my mama's sitting here scratching on her arm. She making it snow in June. It's right. It, it is the end of June. And she got all this ash coming off her arm looking like snow or dandruff or something. Ask them if they want more snow. And she all prim and proper. Friends, y'all should see my mom. She thinks she cute. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, she, she ain't got time. She ain't got time for this. It's just crazy. I tell you the She be tripping. My mom be straight up tripping. She's 74 years old, friends. And you know what? She be throwing shade. She's like the queen of shade. She be killing me. She, she is not the yeah. queen of shade. She's the queen of blunt. Yeah, she's the queen. She thinks she's the queen of the queen of blunt. She's so mean. She told my little sister. Simply Sephora a couple weeks ago. She used to be the smallest, but now she the biggest. How rude. Then she told my baby sister this well, morning, one of the twins, girl. She told, what well, she told Chucky today, she said, Ooh, what you tell her? She sure is getting big. What she say, Nyla? Talking about, oh, you sure, you sure is getting fat. You and Tony, she said, you and Tony about the same size as Tony is my daughter. She said, ask my, ooh, what's going on with your teeth? Huh? She said, she asked one of the other little nephews what's going what's going on with his teeth. What's going on with his teeth? Miles. Yes, then she friend, she asked my daughter who just graduated from high school because she said she didn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> she asked my daughter that's on her way that was on her way to college if she like girls. Um because she said she didn't want a boyfriend. I mean really she just say any old thing, just anything come out of mind. She's friends. She said, "Keep on living. You'll know what she's talking about." I guess what she's saying is, once you get old, you can say anything that you want to say. I don't know about old that. Old folks ain't got no cool. Old folks ain't got no cool. They just say any old thing, which is re it's ridiculous to me. And don't let you remind her of something she get to talk about. I did not. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Yes, you do. And you take me to go get a snow cone. Thank you. Friends, we have over by my parents' house, there's this little shaved ice place. It is the best thing ever. It's like polar something. Or, yes, he is. I am just so amazed that these little girls out here cutting this grass. I mean, that baby is moving that lawnmower, ain't she? 
That's the man in me. And you know what? They don't proclaim to be the um. They don't proclaim to be. Uh uh, because she all over the place. That baby can cut every part of this grass. She's just like, I'm gonna get the head off. Just, she just trying to get the head in. Let me put the head in. I mean, get the head in. She, she just trying to take the head off. Just don't take the head off right. And then the other baby, I guess the other baby girl, um, these little girls here. I'm just doing the grass. I guess one um, one cleaning up and the other one cutting the grass. So maybe the other one will take the lawnmower and then maybe she'll do it. That is just so sweet. Man, need some bosses. So when my little son get to talking about he need a new computer and a TV, I'm going to tell him, won't you go grab you a dang old lawnmower and go cut somebody's grass or something? I make some intros to somebody's videos or something or the other. You won't even make my intro to my video. Anyways, friends, um, I'm just rambling now. Talk to you guys later. Princess, I am visiting my parents. Got to the um, Friends, I just want you to see this. These two young ladies came to my parents' house and ask if they can cut their grass. These two young ladies, probably about 11 and, no, they're probably about 13 years old, came down the street with a lawnmower, asked if they can cut my parents' grass for $15. My mom said no, because they probably don't know what they're doing. Would you really deny these young ladies some work? So of course I'm gonna give them way more than what they asked for. So it's $15 at $7.50 each for these young ladies. And they are working in the heat, mother dear. They're working in the heat. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna take care of this. But what I'm thinking, that's my daughter there. I made her go out and pick up the paper. Um, while they're doing that and they see it the front and the back i'm tell, i'm telling you yeah like people like that you just really want to just reach out to them and help them out and um the money that they're asking is absolutely nothing so of course i want to do more for them i wish i could do more for them some kind of way so this is um simply sephora who you know, she wears some of my shirts that I be making. Anything with Simply Sephora on it, she does it. Also, she's the owner of Kitty, Pit, Kitty Picasso. So Hello. she's going to make Hello. them some shirts. And um, I think that's a great idea, too. Get these young ladies some business. I am just so amazed because we have men out here who don't even want to cut freaking grass or people who stay at some of these residents, which I will, um, I won't say a name. For people who men who stay at this residence and will not cut the grass because they're not getting paid, but they stay for free. But that's a whole nother um, vlog there. I'm telling you, I am just so amazed that I don't even know what to do. These some babies. I applaud these girls because these are some for real balls. They are some for real STL hustlers. They're out here getting this job done. Then I have my own daughter. You all know who she is. All she want to do is eat and date and hang out and whatever. For real, I'm just in awe. I can't remember the last time I saw a young man requesting that um he cut somebody grass oh, for a little bit of money dollars. exactly but yet still some of the young men not all of them some of the young men have no problem coming over and asking for cash and they don't even come with the they don't even come with the job in mind excuse me ma'am do you got a little spare change Excuse me, ma'am. You got a little spare change? I'm a single mom. What you mean? Do I have any spare change? Give me some change. I told him, you're a man. I'm a woman. You're supposed to be giving me some. What you Give got? me what, right, what you got for my money. It's like trick or treat. You want my treats? What's your trick? You want my money? What job can you do? What job? 
Yeah, so girl. Yeah, those some these some bosses right here. These are girl. I'm just so amazed, for real. These babies said, I need some money. You better, they mama must have said, you better go get that lawnmower. And they come wrong with that. that. I don't think there's anything wrong with it either. Nothing. No, nah, everybody 12 and 13 years old. So we have one young lady out here picking up the sticks and debris. And then we have the other young lady coming to, um, the grass. Also, this is kind of dangerous because they're very young girls. I mean, it's a whole lot that kind of, you know, they they stop catching Sephora and just ask her, but you never know who's home you're approaching. You know what I mean? When you ask them for work, so I don't know who these young ladies belong to, but I'm friends, you know I'm going to find out. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna find out who these kids belong to because their parents should probably know exactly where they're at. I think that'd be best. That St. Louis City, we have a whole lot of kids. It seemed like you're just trying to beat her. My, my sister here, Simply Sephora, she's very abusive and she just hit. So she said she just saw a bug on my daughter, but really it seemed like she was punching. It blew away. It blew away and she missed it. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It like a beetle. That hit seems a little suspect to me. I was trying to get it. Yeah, she be low key hitting. That's all right. And my sister is very short too. You know what I'm saying? So all of all the kids are taller than her, which means that they gonna start hitting them back. Then I'm gonna have to jump on all the kids. Oh my god! Let that not happen. We gonna have to fight for kids. It's gonna be black dress wearing a carrying. Um, after these babies finish cutting this grass, I guess I'll go ahead and move back home. Yeah, because I'm sad. I'm going to look disgusting because it's a bat. We have bats in our house. And then some people are talking about, oh, don't be scared. It's no big deal. Really? No big deal. Oh, okay. Seriously, friends, you know, I was just telling you about these two little bosses over here who came by my parents' house to cut the grass. You have got to. I know they didn't. They brought them home. So you have got to hear what no, these young no, ladies no, just no, told no, me. No. First of all, these no. girls are 11 no, and 12 years old. So I don't want to hear nothing about no young man asking their parents for some money because these young bosses got out and are doing their thing. Front. That's it's fine, mom. Fine. But I'm going right to talk to my friends car. about the girls. That's fine. So, um, Young okay, bosses, tell us again how you guys started cutting grass, doing lawns. Listen to her. Listen to what this young boss said. Um, I used to watch my daddy, and then as I started watching my daddy, I tried one day, and when I tried, it didn't work. Mom. So as I kept on watching it over and over again, that's so why I had to finish. Did you hear that? She tried perseverance and did not give up. She saw her dad doing it and she tried and tried again and finally she got it. And that's her cousin there. So cousin, how you come in on this? Your big cousin just made you help her? I I think that's a great idea. How long y'all been doing it? Um, we started last year somewhere. For real? So, you guys parents know where you're at for safety? Yes. Okay, the good. Always be safe, okay? Always be safe. So, Simply Sephora, she has her shirt business. She want to make y'all some shirts, okay? She going to take care of y'all and hook y'all up. So, the young ladies don't have a name of their business just yet. They've been doing this for about a year or so. So, friends, help us get a name for these young ladies' business. Simply Sephora is going to make them some shirts because these some hustlers and also I'm going to make them raise their fee. They need to get more money because two of them out here doing this in this swollen heat. 